Good morning and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, it's a really nice day here. Finally not raining and uh, we are saying goodbye to the Jeep. Not forever, just for a few days. Had to get some work done. It's getting in alignment. Uh, it's getting the check engine light looked at, which I believe is only an O2 sensor. It's getting new rear brakes. And the center console thing for the shifter is the other item I forgot. We're replacing that. Uh, so it should take a couple of days to get everything done, and then we'll get the Jeep back. It's gotta be a Corvette. Wait a minute, that's gotta be a Corvette. I was like, wait a minute, that's <laughs> definitely, I know that sound all too well. There he goes, he's leaving. What's up, buddy? Hey, big guy. How's Looking it going? good. Go, yeah. It's going well, dude. Another, another day in the 717 neighborhood. Absolutely. Good to go. Are you going to Shane's right now? Yeah. You still want me to uh, pick you up? Yeah, you can pick me up. That'd be great. Yeah, let's awesome. do it. All right. <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Foot to the floor. <laughs> it's so slow. I love it. The blazer would destroy the Jeep in a 1v1 deathmatch. That comment in the upload from last night, they were like, you should do a tug of war with the Jeep and the blazer. Let me tell you something. The blazer would drag this around like it was nothing. I guarantee you that. Tell you what though, even though it's, it's hard to do it while vlogging, uh, it just goes to show you how fun a manual car can be because this thing really is so slow, but I love driving it. Like it's so much fun to drive even though it's not fast at all. We're back at Whitmore. By the way, this is where the giveaway Corvette started its life. Our little 2019 Grand Sport. Before it was highlighter, it was just black. And it started here. <gasps> ask for Chad. That's is that Ask for Chad? This is the Jeep. This is the cheap, dude. The cheap? The cheap. The cheap. This is Jeep. it. This is, is that, it, buddy. You put cheap and Jeep together. You like that? I like that. It's smart. I like that. This is beautiful. We're transforming already. We got light bars. Had to do that. That was wow, mod number that's one. The first thing. Always light bars before yeah. anything else. Light bars, up a bit. lift kit. I have no wheels and tires though. No. They're on back order, but we got the lift done. Are you doing a are you still doing the Jurassic Park? Oh yeah. You're saying B, this is the C8 Corvette? I think so. This first is it. Leaked. Yeah, leaked. At Whitmore. Yeah. Whitmore yeah. already has C8 Corvettes. That's pretty good. <laughs> do not start that. The engine's <laughs> in the middle of the start that. Yeah, the engine's in the middle. It says Corvette right there. I mean, what am I supposed to say? Do you know, do you know anything about this? No, I know really nothing. Cool. Yeah, I mean... 25 grand, you buy the kit and you build it yourself. Oh, there she is. And uh, when you see the Jeep again, it will be all fixed up. The camera was not really facing the right way, but that's all right. And I had to come straight here to pick up the Grand Sport because I, I really can't be seen in a Buick. It's, it's not a good look for me. By the way, when you see this upload, you will have roughly... Uh, a little bit less than 24 hours to enter for the giveaway. You still have a chance if you haven't already. Uh, now, in the last upload, I did say it was the last full day because I didn't want anybody to be confused, but you do have until midnight or 11.59 p.m. on the night of the 7th, uh, so you might still have time depending on when you watch this to enter in shanedesigns.com every five bucks spent is an entry to win the car 11 59 p.m on eastern time on the 7th is when it ends and uh, on the website on in shanedesigns.com there is a countdown timer for you um, so if that's expired uh, and you want to enter then don't buy anything but if that timer is still up then feel free a little confusing i know but like i, I don't want to tell people they have i'd rather tell people they have less time than more time and not to like oh you got people have to buy now but i'd rather tell people that it's less and then not have people think they have more time and go buy something and, and it's already over as of right now for most people watching you do have at least some time and that car is freaking sick the 2019 grand sport this is my favorite uh, car for all the corvette giveaways we have done by far i love it uh, definitely the most expensive one. We have r way, way more into it than we thought we were gonna have, um, but that's okay because it turned out really good. But the most expensive one we have ever done as well. And uh, I mean, it, it's it's amazing. Count, dude. <laughs> it's Counting calling. orders. Yeah. How goes it, Nate? What's up, mate? What are we doing? We are wrapping shit up. Packing orders? Oh man, I'm sorry, that's right, no more, don't let me. No what? No. Oh, yes, yes, the language, Nate. I'll bleep you out. You know, I got gotcha. you. I don't make anybody look vulgar. Okay, well, I don't mind it. I'm getting a lot of, I'm getting a lot of physical contact over here on this side, which is probably why I'm a little distracted. 
Little strip. Getting a lot of contact over here. Everybody's going as fast as they can. Like we said, orders doubled over the weekend because everybody does wait until the last minute. Like myself. Let's hear it. Okay, Let's hear it. If you, got, if you got a package shipped to your doorstep, you check the tracking, it says it's there and it's not there, contact your local post office and have them check the unit scan. Yeah, because for free shipping, we did everything USPS yes. to the post office. they tell you to contact us, that's BS. <laughs> they need to check the unit scan check and that'll tell exactly where it is because that stuff is scanned and it's documented and it knows the exact time, GPS coordinates of where it is, where it was. Alex is over here packing as well. Doing great, bud. Tubular. That, that's great. I don't even know, I didn't even know how to respond to that. <laughs> Tubular, that was nice though. These are all posters going out, by the way. Some in stock, like Corvette posters, some are custom posters. These are all going out. And this is one bin for the post office. Um, but you can see we're getting orders out. The team here is doing it, it's, it's, it's a lot. So we appreciate the love and the patience. And I know a lot of you wanna win that car. I don't blame you, but Shane is working on it. Yeah, we are, yeah, we might as well move to US. Yes, in, in our shop. <laughs> Just work out of here. Casually hanging out in Rich's vet. I sent him a little text. Get him worried a little bit. <laughs> I did not really do that, obviously. I would not drive his car. Red waterfall for the convertible. Red on the little dash portion here. Carbon fiber on the dash inlay. A very uh, rare option. That right there. Seven speed manual. Been a long time since I've been in a Manual Z, red stitching to accent, red paddles. It's an awesome, awesome car. All right, and we're back at home, and uh, I love the way when this Corvette is parked in the garage, it reflects on all the white. Like in the right lighting, it makes the whole garage look green. It's pretty crazy. The vet is all ready for you, and uh, again, you do have some time left, not much, but you got a little. Wait, here is the original window sticker, which you will get, of course, uh, when you win. But like I said, you know, we really, we really went high with the options. Uh, an eighty thousand dollar Grand Sport plus uh, the exhaust and the aero parts. Um, but it's a really, it's a really cool car. Definitely worth it. The two LT package, so you get the uh, heated and cooled seats. You get the camera system, and uh, you get the comp seats with the Alcantara insert. It's a great car. It is in fact a 2019. A couple people were asking, is it a, a 2018 or a 19? Nope, it's the newest one you can get, 2019. With all that said about the car, we are buying a new truck today. And I know I have way too many projects. I was just talking about how I, I had to figure out something to do with the Blazer, but I here's my problem. I look at Facebook Marketplace and I find these deals that I just can't pass up. And they're too good not to do it, especially because of YouTube, I can buy it and make my money back in like one or two videos. And I, like, it, there's, it's so much fun. Just really can't help myself. She's excited. And uh, this is going to be a really good one. I think I, I have a new direction for uh, the truck I'm about to get. So we're gonna have like all kinds of, we got a Jeep, we got the Blazer, we're gonna have this truck, we got the Duramax. It's gonna be freaking awesome on the channel. So let's uh, go to the bank, get some cash. It's gonna be only 1200 bucks for this truck. 1200 less than the Blazer. Hopefully, it lasts as long as the blazer has. All right, here we go. So, got the cash, got the cash. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 1200 bucks for a brand new truck. Think about getting a vehicle for that cheap and like seeing how well the blazer worked out. I, I love it. My luck though, like this truck will break after owning it for two days. But let's hope it doesn't, let's hope that doesn't happen. Let's hope not. But I hope you guys enjoy like the cheap truck stuff. Most of you love it. And uh, I don't, for the summer, I was all concerned about like, you know, doing McLaren stuff and everything else. But I might just keep, I love doing the truck stuff so much. I might just keep doing this. Like it, this doesn't stress me out at all. Like race cars and building cars and all that stuff. Like that stuff stresses me out. This is just all fun. Cars, I'm always worried about something breaking and trying to get a better time and like shooting for all this imaginary stuff. And this, I don't have any of those concerns. I was on my way, I realized, uh, how am I gonna buy a truck by myself? I mean, I can buy it, but I can't get it home. Luckily, RF Racing is right here. You're hell, man. You pulled me from work. <laughs> I literally pulled him from work, he had to leave early. Yep. But I'm here, man. That's there a true friend right there, yep. buddy. Everybody has to go and subscribe now to your channel because of what you're doing today. One is an extended cab. 
uh, regular bed. So a little bit, little bit different than anything. I've never had an extended cab OBS before. I've had a couple of regular cab short beds, and uh, so it's actually the same configuration as my Duramax. Same exit that uh, I got the Blazer on. Same exit. I get. It. You know what? Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe the uh, the good trucks come from Anvil, PA, is where we're at. Maybe that's where they come from. Right by Fort Indian Town Gap. Spent some time there. Yeah, best place in the world. <laughs> there you go, bud. Good memories for you? Yeah, best worst days of my life, man. Uh, it says we are 0.3 miles away. This Subaru is reversing. All right. Is he making a funks? Uh, I think there's a little dealership right here. There it is. Green one? Yeah, right there. Oh my god. There it is, bud. Right. <gasps> what do you, I get so excited. It's so stupid. I don't know why I get excited. Dude, no, that's it, I'm buddy. Excited? Oh my god. That's it. It looks pretty good. Yeah, that's awesome, man. For a thousand bucks? That's pretty yes. soft. Okay. Okay. Alright. The color, yes. The color, that's gotta go immediately, but that ain't bad. That ain't bad. You got your partner over here. Which one of these guys do you think is is my man? The guy with the jug. Maroon. It's gotta be maroon. Maroon shirt? No, I think shirt. it's I think it's the guy in the uh, with the license plate. Howdy. How's it going? Hey man, how are you doing? All right. Is this it right here? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Looks like it might have might have uh, some oil leakage down there. Yeah, there's a little bit of stuff spitting. A little bit. But look, I mean, it looks pretty clean. Guy says it runs and drives pretty good. For now. I would like to find out where all that's coming from, though. It's a little concerning. But. Splattering off the fan. Yeah, it's splattering up there, too. Good eye, Bobby. Good eye. Are we looking rust wise? Frame looks really good. Body mounts look great. Yeah, body mounts look awesome. New exhaust on it. That's not going to matter. We're cutting that off. I'm not worried about that. That's all old Chevy, so I get it. But the frame looks awesome. Looks really good under there. Put a new exhaust on it. Nice. Got another truck with a cap. How about it? Another cap. That looks really nice on the inside. I mean, hell, for the price, can't beat it. The interface. Old school, man. That's awesome. All original, not even a head unit. Yeah, that's awesome. Inside looks really good, too. So these didn't have doors? No. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, neither is my 2500. It doesn't have rear doors? Nope. Oh. Learn something new every day. Wow, inside looks really good. How many subscribers do you got? Uh, just a couple. I like. I just do it as like a hobby, you know? Uh, yeah, what's a couple? Just a few hundred for now. Yeah, I have friends that are fishing YouTubers. Really? Yeah. That's pretty solid. We got the cops up here. Are we safe to drive by him? What do you think? Uh, turn. <laughs> he says, he says turn. <laughs> I like your confidence. Yeah. That's great. No, it feels good. That's, that's the gap up there. That's why. Yeah, yeah. yeah I have like a speed trap or something. One on each side, the other one there is. Oh, yeah. A lot of cops up there. We'll turn around and funk so quick. Yeah, I mean, I got cash today, so. Full drive work? Better than mine already, bud. Your four wheel drive doesn't work. Well, <laughs> I thought I thought it did. Uh, I don't know. Well, the whole train doesn't really work that well. Yeah, something screwed up. Oh, okay. This is a comfortable ride, dude. It's really and not for bad. the price. It's not bad. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's a thousand. It's hard to find a four wheel truck under fifteen hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people on those really. On Facebook, it's like, tell me more about this vehicle. It's like, dude, it's five hundred bucks. What do you want me to do? It sucks. Is 
like, right. It literally looks like an old like spaceship. It's yeah. Like, it's just like. That's great. Yeah, that's awesome. I was a little concerned about the oil, which I don't know why it's a thousand dollars. I didn't care at all about the Blazer. I didn't. I didn't even look at the Blazer before I bought it. Like I just walked up and I didn't drive it or anything. I didn't pop the hood. Um, but I called Steve. He says uh, as long as the smoke isn't pouring out, which I just revved it up and everything. And I mean, it, it, there was no smoke, so it's not. I don't think it's too big of a deal. Um, and it feels, you know, relatively strong driving. So I think for the price. Uh, I think it's it's a pretty good deal. I think I'm gonna take it. I've been idling though for a little while now, so. All right, let's do it. I think you're good now. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Exhaust. Look at that giant. It's yeah, he put on. a new exhaust on. It'll be on for a long time during this ownership, I bet. I'll take it. The deal is done. I am now the owner of this truck, this glorious truck, and I'm taking the cap off. He said he could use it, and I sure as hell am not. So, good lord, he's got this thing. This is the only tool I had with me. Ugh. One adjustable wrench. But he said he can use it. I can't use it, so he can have it, as far as I'm concerned. There you go, bud. You got all sorts of cool things. Yeah, I got little collectibles. Uh, there's one off. Bits. But yeah, this is this is pretty cool, guys. I'm hype. I love it. Where's that music coming from? On oh, my phone. The tailgate does not latch, no matter what you do. We slammed it. You can just yeah, work. you can just pull it open. So have to fix that. But again, for the price, really can't argue with it. Super cheap, twelve hundred bucks. Uh, with the title work, I was out the door for about fourteen hundred. And uh, sorry, I was getting a phone call, but yeah, I mean, I'm pretty, pretty freaking hype about it. I think this is gonna be a really cool build for the channel. Get those side steps off right away. Uh, I'll change the mirrors out too. I hate those mirrors. I like the ones I like the Blazer has. Um, but yeah, I don't know why the body line is so uneven either. Oh, because the door's not closed. The door doesn't close hard enough hey it worked and this is great because I never get to see my truck from the outside and I have to say very humbly I might add wow does it look good <laughs> I love it so much. Just, it's really cool to see a build that you know I've been working on for years come together. It's really cool to see it. Wow. Pretty far. I was gonna say you should probably use the GPS. It's pretty far. There you go. See you, buddy. Rich is uh, preparing for the long ride home now. I wish him luck on his journey. Um, you know, luckily the vet gets pretty good gas mileage uh, for him to get home. I know it's a long trip. And there he is. It looks like he's home now. Good, he made it. That's good.
Yep, see ya. Anyway, I, I gotta uh, wrap it up here because I have to get in an edit so I can uh, talk about the giveaway before it ends, which it ends here in about four hours. Uh, so I'm gonna try to edit quick. But anyway, this is the new OBS truck on the channel. Let me know what you think. Video probably coming at you tomorrow. If not, it's going to be a Jeep upload. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Take care and have a great night.